look at there. They're little snowflakes. Yeah, I traded my, I traded my like a pocket light for snowflakes. I gave them the Dollar Tree too. Yep. Yeah. Look at my little snowman. Oh, yeah, cute little uh, tie snowman. Little rail. Yep, that came from Salvation Army for 20 whole cent. 20 whole cent? No way! Yep, okay, show me out. What else you got? We got some good stuff, people. Check out our Christmas haul. Okay, we got a uh, a blue sweater. It's a cable knit sweater, or as uh, the British call them, uh, jumpers. I don't, I don't get it, but okay. It's got like a little cream-colored dog on the front. With the, the dog looks like it's got a little sweater on with this blue snowflake, with a blue and white scarf and boggin and there's some uh, look, looks like uh, maybe it's silver maybe it's white snowflakes sewed into the sweater yep and then uh, got some buttons in the back and then uh, I found this that's Salvation Army also. It's a, I couldn't believe it. That is a Jane and Jack. First Christmas is a red velour sleeper. A plaid collar in the back. I love the back, it's got like a flat door. It snaps up. And uh, the accent's on the bottom of the foot, the plaid. I, I, I couldn't believe that they had that. And uh, it was only $2.99. Jenny and Jack. Anyway. And then I, I found this one. And it's a... A lore also. It looks like a dress, but it has uh, like uh, pantyloons built in, so I guess it's some kind of like a romper. And it's got uh, like a, a big black collar at the top with a plaid underneath, like a Christmas plaid. And it's got some accented buttons at the top. There's four of them, two on each side. Uh, it's short sleeved. Uh, it's got some buttons in the back. Uh, I thought it was cute. Oh, and it's trimmed in that plaid too at the bottom of the, the dress. Romper. Whatever you want to call this thing. I thought it was a dress when I picked it up. And then I, I noticed that the, the bloomers are built in. So I don't know what you call this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I bought <laughs> I bought another another grumpy cat. He's a whole twenty cent. But he's like, take me home or you'll regret it. We also bought a table, which I'm currently repainting there. It was ugly brown. I'm gonna paint it it is a blueberry blue color. I'm gonna put that in Lori's room, put a lamp on it. It's dark in her room. Okay. Let me move this stuff out of the way. <laughs> like yeah, that, that was a pretty good shopping trip there. You got anything there to say? Oh, this this also came from the Salvation Army for twenty cents. Uh, I like to go there sometimes and just look at the stuffed animals. I don't know why. I feel like a, a pack bear or something. Hey, people. My mama didn't get to the post office today like that. She said she went over here like a... Welcome winter packages. I'm making sure she goes tomorrow. 
Yes, Tabitha, I got I gotta go to the post office tomorrow. I just don't like going to the post office. Why not? Well, let me tell you a story about what happened to me at the post office one time. So it was Christmas. This is about three, four years ago. It is Christmas time. Probably about this time of year. And I had like an hour to spare. And I thought, well, I'll run by the post office and mail my friends some candy. And I had the candy in a, like a Walmart bag. And I, I went to the post office. And you know how they sell envelopes on the side there. So I went over to the wall and I got a appropriate sized envelope. And put the candy into the envelope and the tape to shut. I put my address on the top, you know, we put your train address. And I put my friend's address at the address place. And I got in line. There might have been four or five people standing in front of me. And all of a sudden, the, the, the only woman that was working at the front, at the post office, says, The internet's crashed. Okay. Shouldn't be a big deal. Just... You know, wait a few minutes and, and you know, reboot the system. You know, turn it off the computer, turn it back on. Considering that people standing in line on their phones could see that the, their, their Wi-Fi was only down for like a couple minutes. It was back up. Well, you know, and this man in front of me was so helpful as to tell her, turn it off. Turn it back on. And when she replied, I don't know how. Seriously, lady, you work at the post office, but you don't know how to turn turn it off and turn it back on. She had to wait for somebody in the back to come to the front. Yeah. And, and fix the problem for her. Which they were very busy in the back because they just had a truck pull up and they were unloading it and loading it. So I stood there. Mind you, I had an hour. I stood there for 45 minutes before that lady came up there to reboot that computer. And I'm, I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go. My son's getting off the bus soon. You know, I, I gave myself 10 minute leeway, you know, from the time it would take me to the time I would drive back home plus 10 minutes. Anyway, the lady was very, very slow after she got the thing rebooted. And I asked her, like, manager, hey, uh, be all right if I leave this package over here on the desk and I'll be back and after my son gets off the bus. Absolutely not, she said. Okay. Can I take the package with me? Absolutely not, she said. Because that would be theft. And they would call the police. I asked her what I was supposed to do. Because my son was getting off the bus. To where he has autism. I have to be there. When the bus, when the bus pulls up. Or they won't let him off the bus. She told me that was not her problem. Okay, so I'm still standing there and I'm like it's getting closer and closer to time. I have to go because you know the bus The bus will be here. You know the bus will be at my home and I won't be there Even with you know that I factored in the drive time in the 10 minute leeway Okay So luckily this lady that's standing in front of me noticed that I have some like Christmas cards and uh, she It's funny because she could tell by the envelopes that came from Avanti from Detroit and she's like oh I work there you can go in front of me and uh, I, I thanked her profusely and I got my package weighed and I run out to my car and then I get stuck in traffic and you uh, <laughs> in the bus garage is like calling the bus is at your home we can't let your son off the bus yeah okay I told the bus garage, tell the bus driver I was like, less, less, at that point, by the red lights, because I was getting stuck in every red light. Every red light. I got stuck. I got stopped every red light. Told the bus garage, tell the bus driver, 
uh, that I would be there in about five minutes, and I was very, very, very sorry <laughs> that it was taking so long. And let that be a lesson to you. Never go to the post office with a package that you cannot just walk away with. If the line's too long, you take your package and go home. That means do not buy any boxes or envelopes. Nothing. Do not buy any kind of packing material from the post office because they will hold you hostage in there and threaten to call the police. Oh, my. That is some story. Mean back, UPS. UPS? You mean USPS, United States Postal Service. Oh, UPS is different? Uh, yeah. Ups is different from the United States Postal Service. Hmm, maybe you should have went with Ups. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have went with Ups. Or FedEx. Hmm, FedEx Ground sounds pretty good, too. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's my story about the post office and why I just don't like going there. That and the last time I... <laughs> this last time I moved, and, you know, it took me forever to get a package that was accidentally sent to my previous address. And, you know, they went and forwarded it and kept calling. And I went to, like, the annex office, like, four times and called the 800 number three times. And it took three weeks to get this package. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I remember that. <laughs> he was like... Yeah, I was like, why are you not forwarding my package? I, like, filled out the, you know, change of address and all that stuff back in September. Here it is, November. No package. <laughs> and I come to find out, like, they were still putting my mail into the old address, even though they had a forwarding address on file. Oh. Girl, you had a rough. No wonder you didn't go to the post office today. She'll get there tomorrow, people. Don't worry. Your welcome winter package will be there soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. You got anything else to say? Hmm. Oh, my mommy ordered tickets online for Wreck-It Ralph and the Tristan's not a good boy this week. I'm going to take your seat. <laughs> Tristan, is that true? No. Are you going to be a good boy? Yeah. Are you going to school Wednesday yeah. and Thursday? Yeah. And if you don't go, yeah. Tabitha, get your movie seat? No. So, uh, you're going to go? Yeah. Got to go three days this week, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know if I'll be going to the movies or not. Because, you know, you probably go to school just to spite me. Shucks. I know. You can watch it on DVD. Hmm, that's better. Now, I said I want to watch it on DVD. Me and, me and Charlie, we can sit here in this baby swing and watch it on DVD. That's right. When it comes out on DVD, you can watch it. I don't know when that is, but I'm sure it'll be soon. Okay, people. Oh, uh, I, I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. Talk to you later. TTFN. Ta ta for now. Oh, okay. This is uh, Callie Callie's Reborn Youngin saying ta ta for now.